Welcome everybody to the Single on Stiletto Show. I'm Suzanne Oshima and I'm a life and love transformational coach and founder of Single in Stilettos. Today we have a very special guest, Robert Manny, and he's the author of The Guy's Guy's Guide to Love. And I'm so excited to have him here today because today we're talking about the four types of men you'll meet online. But before we jump into it, Robert, I would love for you to tell our audience a little bit about you and what made you write this book. Okay, my background is marketing and advertising, and I was inspired by everything that goes on in dating in New York City, having been single for so long here before I got married a few years ago, that I wanted to write a, a book from the male point of view about dating, but I wanted to use the power of story. So it's a story of two guys in advertising competing for love, sex, power, and money. A lot of people are calling this the male sex in the city. So uh, it's the guy's guy's guide to love. And from there, we developed my podcast, Guys Guys Radio, and my uh, blog, which is on my website, robertmanny.com. Awesome. Well, let's jump into it. So what are the four types of men that women will most likely meet online? Okay. Well, I think, you know, I, I think it, it's a, applicable certainly for women and for men. There's what I found, years of uh, online dating, and uh, there's nothing wrong with it. I think it's a good thing. It's a fact of life now. Uh, it can be a gift or it can be a curse depending on how you use it. And one of the best ways to get started is to know the types of people you might meet. And I started over time, started to categorize them. So the first was what I would call a, a newbie. These are people who have never dated online before. They don't have a clue men and, and women, of course, but a lot of guys, they go on there, they're not, not sure what to look for, they're just kind of pawing around, and uh, you'll pick them up right away and as to who they are. I would recommend to all ladies to, uh, as a first question when you're with a guy, to ask them what they think of online dating, how's it been, and if they say, this is my first online date, I would ratchet my expectations a lot lower because Usually, if you're just starting out, you don't know who you are, you don't know what you want, you don't know how the game is played, and uh, you're going to waste a lot of people's time, including your own, if you're not prepared. So I call these the newbies, and I would say buyer beware, even though they could be great people. Uh, I always found out that the, the women I met who was their first time online uh, and dating, they, uh, they were just, it was window shopping. And, uh, and even if there was a connection, I knew they were going to meet so many other guys that I just put them aside, and I was right every time. And I think the same thing is applicable to guys, where as soon as they get started, they're going to realize, oh, this is how it works. You know, people are pretty sharp. They're going to figure it out like, oh, I can meet all these different people. They know how to gauge their expectations. And uh, so if they're new, you got to put them in a category of these people have a lot to learn. And uh, depending on where you are on the learning curve, you can determine, is this somebody I want to pursue, or is this somebody that maybe we can get back together six months from now when they figure this all out. So you're also, I just want to clarify, you're not saying forget them completely. You're just saying keep dating other men in the meantime, yeah. right? Yeah. And uh, But what usually happens, Suzanne, is uh, once people uh, keep going, they keep going because the pool is so large for online dating now. It's the it's not the it's 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 the norm now, and uh, it's very get, very easy to get lost in that pool if you if you don't really manage yourself. And for the new people, they just jump in at the deep end, and that uh, takes them a while to figure things out. So while they're figure, figuring these things out, you don't want to waste have them waste your time. So you just keep going. And if there's somebody to say you think like, wow, I met this person. This is his first time, but he's a keeper. Um, then just see how it goes. I'm not saying, uh, you know, just toss them, but I would limit uh, and gauge your expectations based on the fact that they have a lot to learn. Okay. So what's the second type of man a woman is most likely to meet online? Okay. Let's call the second type. These are the guys who've been around for a long and they, they're on all of the dating sites. They're on all the apps. They're using Tinder, Match, Okay, Cupid, everything, and I would call them the jugglers, and there's female jugglers also, and they're just dating up a storm, and they're going to be double, triple booking. You meet people like this in your social life and in business where they just overbook everything and they cancel at the last minute, and sometimes they ghost you or whatever, and you're going to meet a lot of those because it's if you, if you have your act together uh, socially, uh, you can really have a big time uh, through online dating and dating through the apps. So you have to really be careful with your heart 
uh, when you're dating this type of guy because if he's out there, it's you know this is another a juggler. It's another word for a player. So uh, you got to beware of that also. So by beware of, of the jugglers and, and players. And I'm sure all you ladies out there know how to qualify these guys, and they, you can figure out pretty quickly if the guy's a player or not. Right. Okay. So what's the third type? All right. I would call these guys the the. I'm going to call them respectfully the lonelies. And these are guys who they've been dumped a number of times or their wife just left them and they haven't been online also very much and they just or they they have been and they don't know how to manage it and mm -hmm. uh they're i don't want to call them desperate i would call them lonely and there's a lot of lonely people who are good people so it's not a judgment in a negative way but these are people who are struggling and uh you know they might be a little bit needy they might not know uh, how to manage uh, online dating, how to even date a lot of people who've been married or in long-term relationships, they start starting over again is, is really tough for people because people have difficulties with the change and transition. Uh, you know, even as children we have it, and I have a five-year-old, he has difficulty with transition still. Adults have difficulty with transition still. I have trouble leaving things behind and breaking away and starting new things sometimes like we all do. So some of these lonely guys on there, they, they just are a little bit lost and uh, if you meet somebody who's got a good heart and you want to pursue them, by all means do so. But uh, you might have to go out of your way to uh, take them by the hand a little bit. And if that's your style, fine. And if it's not, then, then they're not for you. Right, right. Because it's funny. I mean, as much as we all want different things in our life, sometimes it's more comfortable to stay within our comfort zone, right? Right, right. Even though it ends up being uncomfortable, right? <laughs> exactly, exactly. Okay, so what's the fourth type of man? All right, the fourth type, we're going to call these the realists. These are the regular guys who are out there, and the type of guys I would rank them, number one, the guys you want to meet. They have confidence in themselves. They're comfortable in their own skin. They like to meet people offline. They like to make in-person connections. They don't just hide behind the keyboard or text all the time. They have good social skills. They like to meet up. They have friends. They have male friends. They have women friends. They're guys' guys. They like the guys that women like to hang out with and men like to hang out with. And uh, they will uh, hopefully treat you respectfully, uh, show you a good time, and be the type of guy you want to date. And so are those the ones that you think have more relationship potential for the women? I would say absolutely. You know, you have to be careful that if somebody is that comfortable in their own skin and they, they have their game together, that they don't turn into players. Because it's mm -hmm. pretty easy mm -hmm. nowadays uh, with uh, there's so many great women out there that for guys... Uh, you know, they can become players pretty quickly or think they're players, and that, that could be even worse. So you want to get a guy who's a, you know has a cool head, he knows who he is, he's comfortable in his own skin, respectful to women, men like him, women like him. He treats people in restaurants with respect. He treats older people with respect. He's fun to be around, and uh, you'll be able to sift that out pretty quickly. Yeah, yeah, that's so true. So... One last question for you, because I know a lot of women will sometimes share that they have a hard time dating multiple men at a time while they're doing online dating. So what, what advice, what's your best advice that you can give them? Well, yeah, I think you have to do what works for you. Um, uh, I, I, it works two ways. Uh, you know, I, I would suggest that, you know, if you're online dating, that means you're meeting a couple of different people. Mm -hmm. um, However, if, if you get overwhelmed, too many dates becomes where you can't focus and, and some people slip through your fingers, then, then just go out with one person and see how it goes. I know what happened with my wife. Um, we went out and uh, over a course of about a month, she's like, well, you know, why are you still online? And I'm like, oh. So I got offline and uh, we could just dated each other. And then I realized, you know, this actually is a pretty good idea because it gives the person, both people, a chance to get to know one another, and you don't have all that noise. So if you can do it, um, go out with one person, see how it goes. Now, if it becomes a long, drawn-out process and the guy is not on the same page as you, then you, you, should, you should not tie yourself down to one person if he's not uh, in the same place as you are. And if that's the case, then you need to date other people because uh, you might not ever catch this guy. So uh, I think you have to be mature and know what work, do what works for you and be flexible. So if you meet somebody and like, I just want to go out with this guy and see how it goes, then make it happen and make sure he's in the same place. And if not, 
And if he's in a different place where you think he's still dating and he hasn't come around to where you know more than he does about where you think this can go, then go out with some other guys too. You never know what can happen. But first of all, respect yourself and do what works for you. I think that's great advice. So, Robert, how can the ladies find you and your amazing book? Okay, well, thank you. Well, the name of the book, once again, it's it's a novel. It's called The Guy's Guy's Guide to Love. You can catch this on probably the best places online now, Amazon or any of the bookstores. Uh, it's still in some bookstores, though. Um, my website is robertmanni, M-A-N-N-I dot com. I've got over 300 blog posts on relationships and wellness and other things to help men and women be at their best so everybody can win. And I have a podcast, a weekly podcast called Guys Guys Radio on iTunes, Stitcher, TuneIn, and uh, Blog Talk Radio. Awesome. Well, thanks, everybody, for joining us on the Single and Stiletto Show. Our show is available both in video format and podcast format. If you would like to view the videos, you can go to singleonstilettos.com. If you'd like to get the podcast, you can download it from iTunes. And if you would like to get our free video series, the Secrets About Men video series, you can click right here on the video or you can go to singleonstilettos.com. <laughs>